Welcome to a brief history of where we explore the comic book origins of characters appearing on the big screen in a short amount of time. As comic books often are, there are many different incarnations and versions of a character, but today we'll be focusing on Abner Krill, the original and thus far the only character named Polka Dot Man in DC, who will appear in the upcoming Suicide Squad movie by James Gunn, portrayed by actor David. Uh, David. Well, this guy. You probably know who he is. He has been in the movies like Dark Knight, Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, CW's The Flash, and Gotham. <laughs> Abner Krill, Mr. Polka Dot, better known as Polka Dot Man, was created by writer Bill Finger, who you might have heard of before. He is the co-creator of Batman, well, since 2015 at least, and artist Sheldon Moldoff. He made his comics debut in Detective Comics issue 300, so a milestone issue in February 1962 relaunched a crime wave based on spots and dots in Gotham City, where he inevitably came into conflict with Batman and Robin. The Polka Dot Man, also known as Mr. Polka Dot, was a minor supervillain who fought Batman and Robin in their early careers. He became known as committing grandiose crimes revolving around bizarre teams of polka dots and spots. The spotted patterns on polka dot man's gimmicked costume also concealed a variety of hidden weapons. It's the middle of the night as Batman and Robin are patrolling the rooftops when they spot three men breaking into a cleaning plant called Spots from a skylight on the roof. The Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder follow the criminals into the building where two of the criminals are trying to break into a safe. Batman or Robin swiftly handle the two criminals. As Batman disarms one of the criminals, the third criminal speaks from behind and introduces himself as Mr. Polka Dot. The two crime fighters are caught off guard as Mr. Polka Dot rips a dot from his costume and turns it into a flying bus saw. The bus saw cuts down a hanging carpet trapping the two heroes as Mr. Polka Dot escapes. The two heroes manage to catch up, but when they get closer, Mr. Polka Dot throws one of his dots on the ground and it transforms into a huge flying saucer, carrying the criminals away as Mr. Polka Dot spills out the worst pun the last 90 years. Batman notices that the villain's crimes are based on spots and dots, as he spots the name of the company called Spots. Later, in Mr. Polka Dot's hideout, one of his minions asks how his dots work, and he explains that inside his costumes are wires that are connected to each dot. While the dot is on his costume, it remains docile, but when he rips it off, the dot is activated and transforms itself into its designated purpose. Then he asks what happens after the dot is used, as Batman and Robin are witnesses to that answer. They vanish, leaving no clues. The next night, Batman and Robin are watching TV in the Batcave, a news program which provides them with a clue. An ambassador visiting Gotham City Embassy with his spotted leopard and his turban with a pearl that looks like a dot, fitting Mr. Polka Dot's M.O. to a T. When the two heroes get to the embassy, the criminals are already there. As Batman charges at Mr. Polka Dot, he rips off one of his dots and throws it at Batman, turning it into a flaming hot ball imitating his son. Batman is blinded by the lights and is almost hit by the sun, but Robin manages to push him out of the way. Batman side returns and again he charges at the criminals, but once again they manage to escape, this time in a giant bubble. The following night, Mr. Polka Dot manages to rob a scientific toy store for children, a nightclub and a gaming company. As Mr. Polka Dot's accolades are spreading throughout Gotham City's underworld, a lone Batman stands on a rooftop, keeping a watchful eye on a dotted bullseye logo while Robin scouts an ice skating hall with a red ball on his flag, but being Mr. Polka Dot, he could see it as a red dot. Robin decides to check out the skating hall, and to no one's surprise, Mr. Polka Dot and his minions have already robbed the safe and are about to make their escape. Robin swiftly dons a pair of skates and streaks across the ice like a comet, knocking one of the minions out. But Mr. Polka Dot throws a dot at Robin and starts to multiply, and eventually the dot transforms into a fist, beating up Robin and knocking him out. Robin is helped by a cute blonde girl telling him that the criminals escaped down an alley and disappeared in the darkness. After catching so many dubs, Robin stated that he is growing overconfident because he is escaping on foot. Robin runs out of the alley but no one's there, but he quickly remembers that the embassy is nearby. He asks to borrow the ambassador's leopard to lure out Mr. Polka Dot. The plan works, 
but Robin is knocked out by a sleeping gas and captured. When Robin wakes up, Mr. Polkadot tells him to write a letter to Batman, telling him he's a prisoner and how Batman will never stop him. Mr. Polkadot comes up with a convoluted plan about putting some mud on the envelope to lead Batman to a trap. But Robin writes a secret message in Braille, the printing of the blind to Batman. How Mr. Polkadot didn't notice it, I have no idea. I guess he didn't check the paper and just assumed that Robin wouldn't try anything funny. But the plan works and Batman finds Robin locked up in Mr. Polkadot's HQ and rescues him. In the back here, Batman figures out that the crimes were a puzzle. Robin and Batman use the puzzle as the next clue and it leads them to a map company where cities are represented by dots and the criminals are there. As Mr. Polkadot prepares to throw a dot at Robin, Batman knocks it out of the way with a batarang. Batman throws another batarang and it emits a bright light temporarily blinding Mr. Polkadot, tripping him over a giant world globe. Delivering the knockout punch, Batman delivers the worst pun since Polkadot Man in the beginning of the issue and Mr. Polkadot is defeated. <laughs> Let's go over Polkadot Man's long list of powers and abilities. He can turn Polkadot on his suit into a variety of devices. And that concludes his list of powers and abilities. <laughs> At the grill, Polkadot Man will appear in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad and will be portrayed by actor David Dasmalchian. Abner Krill, also known as Polka Dot Man, is a criminal who can grow multicolored polka dots from his body and can turn them into weapons. He is also a member of the second Task Force X strike team sent to Court of Maltese. So this became a little bit of a longer video, but I challenge you to drink every time I said the name Mr. Polka Dot. And let me know who is your favorite obscure villain from the world of DC and I will see you later.